All right, boys. Here's a DS2 with a nine-inch coal, Manicore with a nine-inch coal. <clears throat> you see that little gill ring down there? Now I'll turn this detector back on and give you an idea on that gold ring with this machine. I believe it reads about 5051. Sensitive FT, speed two, and I'm gonna check it at 40 max frequency. Offset, full tones offset to 10. So you get a 44 in the meter. 42, 44. Can you tell there's two targets there? XY screen. Sharpshooter can't look at that XY screen on the sweep and tell if that targets if there's two targets there, okay? 24 max frequency. Lowered it. ID is 4243. Let me turn this XY screen off so you can see that ID on that target. You see that? That's 24 max frequency. Would you suspect that's a gold ring rating 4243 on this machine? You see that meter? That's 24 max frequency. And 40 max frequency. So in the wild, I'm not none the wiser sweeping that. When I hear that in glance down, I don't know that there's masking going on there, do I? I'm turning the DS2 off. Manicore, speed five. That's pretty equivalent to a speed two on that machine. Out to rain general. You see that trace? Look what it looks like. See that? You hear that signal? You glance down, you see that long trace. It's in there every sweep, boys. Boom. Okay? You see that. So you're looking for gold rings, and you know small gold rings on this machine can reach somewhere down around 14, 15, 16, 17. So the ID is low on that target. But you see that trace. It's long, left to right. All right? <clears throat> can you take a legend and sweep that and tell me that there's two targets, you know, suspect there's two targets, masking going on? I don't think so. You see that trace. Okay, that's one of the benefits you get with that 2D trace. Now, we can rotate. But we got to push the car way out there, assuming there's no masking over there, okay? Coming over the target, we really don't get much help. We still have low ID. Now, I can check, you know, I can change modes on this, since I suspect there's some masking going on. I ain't got my favorite key set up. Beach surfing seawater. You see that? ID rise. That would suggest masking. You've already seen the elongated trace. Well, could, it, could an elongated non-ferrous fine cause the elongated trace in this machine? It's possible. But when you go to surf in seawater, you won't see that right there. You won't see that ID jump. Most cases. We're turning the manicure off. We're turning the DS2 back on. I'm going to remove the foil. Let's get an ID reading on this ring here. Speed 2 at 40 max frequency. You see the ID. 50-51. 24 max frequency. 50. So you see how that right there could be your bird dog, right? Most people probably using this machine right here 
a solo sitting go ring would it read 42 41 43 on this machine probably unlikely just like that machine with a solo set and go ring you've seen it coming up id in 9 10 and 11 unlikely however on that screen we see that elongated trace don't we putting us on guard unlike this machine you be your own judge boy sharpshooter just shows them and I try to be fair with all the equipment that I use. That concludes the video.